In question 4 of this exercise, the problem statement says the sum of the reciprocals of Rahman's age in years 3 years ago and 5 years from now is 1 by 3. Find his present age. So the unknown in this case is Rahman's present age. So let's assume that his present age is x years. So let's say Rahman's present age is x years and we have to find the value of x. So we are told that the sum of the reciprocals of his ages 3 years ago and 5 years from now. So Rahman's age 3 years ago will be x minus 3 years because his present age is x. So 3 years ago his age will be his age would have been x minus 3 years and age his age 5 years from now so his age 5 years from now will be x plus 5 because his present age is x so 5 years from now his age will be x plus 5 years right and now what we are told is that the sum of the reciprocals of these two ages is 1 by 3 and from here we get our uh, our equation so the reciprocal of x minus 3 is 1 by x minus 3. The reciprocal of x plus 5 is 1 by x plus 5. And we are told that the sum of these reciprocals is equal to 1 by 3. So this is how we can set up the equation corresponding to this situation. And the main step in this problem is actually setting up this equation. And from this point onward, solving this equation is straightforward. The main part of this problem, the main part of solving it is actually setting up this equation correctly. Now let's solve this equation. So we have, so let's take the LCM of the denominators x minus 3 and x plus 5 and combine the two terms on the left hand side. So we will get x minus 3 times x plus 5 and then corresponding to this one, we will get x plus 5 the second denominator and then corresponding to this one we will get x minus 3 the first denominator and the sum of these two so this is how we can combine the two fractional terms on the left hand side and this is equal to 1 by 3 on the right side so let's simplify this and see what we get so in the numerator we have x plus 5 plus x minus 3 so that's 2x plus 5 minus 3 is 2 so 2x plus 2 by x minus 3 times x plus 5 this is equal to 1 by 3 now let's cross multiply so 3 multiplies with 2x plus 2 and this gives us 6x plus 6 and on the right side I get x minus 3 x plus 5 times 1 so this becomes x minus 3 times x plus 5 so let's expand the product on the right hand side. So this will be x times x. So that's x square. And then we have 5x minus 3x. So that's 2x. And then we have minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. And this is equal to 6x plus 6 on the left hand side. And now let's combine all the terms. So we will get x square. And then we have 2x here and if we subtract, if we take the 6x to the right side, we get minus 4x. And then we have minus 15 and if we take the 6 to the right side, we get minus 21. So x square minus 4x minus 21 equal to 0. And what we have really done here is modified this equation into this quadratic equation. And now this quadratic equation is easy to solve. We can simply split the middle term or we can apply the quadratic formula. So let's split the middle term. So we need we need two numbers whose sum is equal to minus 4 and whose product is equal to 1 into minus 21. So we can split minus 4x as minus 7x plus 3x. So we get x square minus 7x plus 3x minus 21 equal to 0. And now from the first pair of terms, you can take out x common. So we get x minus 7. And from the second pair of terms, we can take out 3 common. 
so we get 3 times x minus 7 so this is equal to 0 and this means that we get x plus 3 times x minus 7 equal to 0 and from here we get either x equal to minus 3 x equal to minus 3 or x equal to 7 so which of the two roots should we pick so x is actually Raman's present age so it must be a positive number so this means that this minus 3 root is uh, not valid in this case so the correct root is x equal to 7 so with this means that Raman's present age is 7 years and let's verify whether this aligns with what is told to us in the problem so Raman's age 3 years ago would have been 7 minus 3 or 4 years and his age 5 years from now would be 7 plus 5 or 12 years and the reciprocals of these ages 1 by 4 plus uh, and 1 by 12 the sum of these is uh, if you if you combine these terms this will be 4 by 12 or 1 by 3 and this is what is told to us in the problem so x equal to 7 is the correct answer Raman's present age is 7 years to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.